Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time I rearranged my parties, I have listed in the video description there. Uh, the only thing that may be a little odd is that I have diamond armlets equipped on everyone because I want to have resistance to lightning for everyone, except Cecil because he's going to get something in the very near future anyway. So I'm not really worried about him. Oh, really? Can we take them for ourselves? Let's find out. Don't you mean the giant of Babel? The tower is still, uh, kind of there. How did they get here anyway? I'm guessing they used the interdimensional elevator to get over here instead of the lunar whale that I had to walk all the way over here. Yeah, I had, I, basically I just walked all the way over here off screen, rearranged my party the way I, I wanted to, so. This is probably my favorite party that I can use for this area here, so let's head on down. Normally, you're supposed to have Kane, Edge, Rosa, and Rydia in your party in the original version of the game, but I'm going to take a better party with me this time around. If you want to see how it was done originally, watch the first LP. With kick ass music, yeah! Now, let's take a look around for those weapons by going through a secret passage. I like how they added the outer space background to the area. Nice touch, game. Nice. Kinda wish this area had unique music, but for an area that doesn't, final area that doesn't have unique final area music, this is pretty kick-ass. Okay, so for this chest, we wanna have fairy claws, and I've already put the angel arrows on Rosa. For monsters! Okay, now this, ow, this is gonna hurt. Well, first things first, we gotta get to Edward's turn if I can. There we go. And let's stop the one in the back there. Can't stop both of them, unfortunately, so. Oh well. But being giant-type monsters, the fairy claws will deal extra damage to them. Look at how fast Edwards is. I mean, he and Yang are getting like double the turns everyone else is, so. And even though he's not a giant type enemy, Edward's still dealing pretty good damage to him. Holy cow. Yeah, this is why I got those angel arrows earlier. That way I can deal with these guys a lot more easily. And we can just fast forward the rest of this. There we go. And for defeating them, we get the Black Guard, which is uh, Edge's ultimate armor in the game. Let's, uh, can I warp back? Yes, I can. Let's do that. So yeah, all the equipment you're going to find in the final area are for the five characters that you would have normally had to take through here in the original game, which would be Cecil, Kane, Edge, Rydia, and Rosa. So, and I mean, the strategies I'll use here can be adapted to the original party. It's not like this LP isn't, this area isn't going to apply to the original game. I just have different party members, that's all. Oh, and I took quite a beating there, apparently. And let's get Yang back on the cat claws for the agility. And strength, for that matter. And go through another secret passage! So far, the enemies here are the same as the ones at the Lair of the Father. So that's why I'm not showing any of these battles. Uh, let's see. How are we looking here? Yeah, we should be good. For monsters! Nuts. Okay, now with these guys, let's use Piggy on the Dark Sages there. And let's use Mini on the Moon Mages there. And that should be able to take them out just fine. Let's, ha let's keep our melee fighters on standby, as long as my mages can live long enough. Yeah, you see, Edward? Oh. Come on, hurry. Okay. Well, Edward's still not taking that much damage. I was going to say, you see, he's not taking that much damage, but, well, he's taking enough damage, evidently. So, oh, well. But still, for the most part, uh, I mean, ev everyone else would be taking more damage than Edward would be. So, his low HP will not be a problem problem for us. Huh. For some reason, I couldn't get Piggy to work on them. I mean, I've got the uh, multipliers I shouldn't be able to miss. But, uh, hmm, maybe it doesn't stack with many there. Hmm. Because there are some uh, statuses that can't stack with others, like Berserk and Poison. It depends on what version of the game you're playing, I think, too. They change it up a little bit. 
Magic does not work so well against these guys, so don't even bother. Well, another thing that I could have done is I could have used uh, Silence on the Dark Sages instead of Mini. But, well, Mini lets me kill them faster, so. And for defeating them, woo! We get the Sage Staff and a Minerva Bustier. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you're not supposed to find the Minerva Bustier until much later in the dungeon in another chest, but, uh, well, there you go. Uh, I'm not going to take advantage of the Minerva, so. Uh, but basically, the Sage Staff, it'll boost your spirit by 15. For now, I want to keep Rosa on the Artemis arrows. Part of the reason why I've, I have those and Edward around here is because there's a lot of dragons in the final area here. Well, of course there's going to be a lot of dragons in the final area. This is a JRPG. What did you expect? But anyway, this place, this path leads to a dead end. So, let's see. First things first. Let's get float on everyone there. That ought to do. And heal up. And let's see. Rosa, I want you on Artemis arrows. Okay, I think we're all set and ready to go. Okay, how's it going? Nuts. But I don't want to die. For boss time! Okay, first things first. Edward, use Bacchus Wine with kick-ass music. Yeah. Now with this guy, what you want to do is, just like some of the other bosses that I've shown you earlier, you... Uh, well, yeah. You want to deal as much damage as possible in as few attacks as possible, because every time you hit him, he'll counterattack with slow. As a matter of fact, let's get uh, Yang on the Bacchus Wine 2 as long as we're at, while we're at it. If I can ever get to his turn. He's fast enough. There we go. Bacchus Wine! Go, Yang! Go! I don't want anyone else attacking because I don't want to risk another or any more slow counterattacks than I have to. But we're just too fast for him to deal with us. Oh, you know, I probably should have turned down the battle speed a little bit. Well, not that it'll matter here, but with Yang and Edward with their high speed, you really want to have the battle speed turned down so you can really take advantage of their speed. If you have Flair for Palom already, which I do not, somehow he learned Meteor before that, then use Flare on the guy, that'll deal some really good damage. Uh, Bahamut's good. Unfortunately, he is strong against Fire, which is why Edward's still not dealing quite as much damage as he could against dragons. So you will see how powerful he can be with against dragons, though. And for defeating them, him, we get the Mirasame for Edge. I don't really like it for him because it lowers his agility a little bit. So, I don't know. It depends on the situation. So, okay. Well, let's get out of here then. I'll heal up and I'll meet you back at the entrance to the area. Okay, we're back. So, now let's start heading towards the end here. Gonna be making multiple trips through this area. It is big. Well, it's the final area. It should be big. So... Big compared to the rest of the game. Most areas in the game, probably like half an hour to an hour. This area will take many hours. Not that many, but enough. And here we get the Flame Whip. The ultimate, well, one of the ultimate whips in the game that you can find. Feridia. I don't like it for her. I don't like whips at all, Feridia. I don't want to turn her into a dominatrix. Or whatever the word is for that. Not that I know what a dominatrix is. Yeah, lots of secret passes around here, but fortunately it is kind of easy to see where they are. And in this chest we get the Dragon Shield, which is normally for Kane, but Cecil can equip it as well. The nice thing about Dragon Equipment, it resists the basic three elements. That's why I didn't bring a Diamond Shield with me, because I figured, why bother? Let's see, secret passages to the left lead nowhere, so let's go through here. Yeah, more Dragon Equipment. Normally, I'd give, like, one piece of dragon equipment to Cecil and one, at least one to Cecil and the rest to Kane. But instead, well, we've got help here, so. Okay, let's show the power of the Spoonie Bar! <laughs> yeah, he can one-shot these guys now. Holy cow. 
Yeah. We're gonna start meeting up with lots of dragons. And apparently a cat wants to get into my room very desperately. Oh well. And here we get the dragon gloves. Alright. Got full decked out dragon gear. If only we could get a dragon spear, but no, it doesn't work that way. Let's back out of here and try that one again. Now this way leads to the next floor. Oh, I can just let Edward take these guys, one shot these guys. Yeah. Thank you, Edward, for making life easier. Oh, now I get flair! Thanks. Thanks, game. Could have used it in the boss fight there. Oh, well. But anyway, over here, we can get more Artemis arrows for Rosa. Uh, I'm gonna leave her on the angel arrows for now. Well, let's see how well Edward can do against the bone dragon here. Ha 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 ha! Max damage! Yeah! Uh, let's go with Piggy there. Yeah, you see, these guys can't even touch Edward! He's got all those defense multipliers. Of course, if I just kill him. Kill her first, then well, I don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, Piggy has a bit of a long charge time. Too bad I don't have the polymorph rod. I mean, I probably still have it in storage somewhere. But what other ultimate equipment can I find in here? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H. G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.